Leo, welcome to the channel. My name is Jenna and we are here to do a reading for you for the week of August 21st through August 27th. And it's going to be a love reading, Leo, okay? So first we're gonna take a look at some major energy that you're moving through this week. I'm very curious. I did this at the beginning of the month. I love looking at the major themes. Um, they tend to linger for a while, but I want you to think of this card as an ally in your pocket. So whatever you're going through, whatever's happening this week, take the energy of this card and use it to your advantage. These are your guides with you, signaling to you that they hear you, they're with you, they understand, okay? So whatever energy comes up, they're acknowledging what you're going through, what you've been going through, and they want to help you move through it. Okay. All right. Temperance. All right. So you're learning balance this week, or maybe you need to bring something into balance. Okay. Put that right there. So today we're going to be doing a love reading. Oh, I'm saying bring this one out. We're going to be doing a love reading. I want to take a look at your energy, their energy, and the overall energy of the connection. Okay. And this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Whoa, that wanted to come out. What's that one? Oh, the moon upside down. Maybe you're coming out of some secret hidden feelings. Maybe someone around you is telling you how they feel. You have a secret admirer? Leo. All right, let's get into this. What's going on in your love life, Leo? Leo Collective. Definitely balance. Someone around you is having some struggles, looks like. All right. If you come into someone's aid, overall energy is the reading. Knight of Wands. Woo! The Knight of Wands is coming swooping in. The Knight of Wands is an energy that is coming towards you. And as you can see, they um, have the Ace of Wands. They have a wand in their pocket and is growing. So there's some time that's passed and they have grown in their desire for you. So, mm, that is some beautiful energy. So be on the lookout. I think you got love coming in. You got desire coming in, passion. You're gonna be having some fun this week, Leo. All right. It is your birthday one still. We're just about, no, the 22nd, I believe. No, so we're in the last vestiges. Maybe you're a cusper with Virgo. All right. And I do believe next month I might be starting to do some solar return readings. We'll see for the collective because I love knowing what's coming down the pike. All right. Let's see. It's Knight of Wands. We're going to do some capstone energies too with the messages above Oracle. Overall energy to the reading. Someone's got romance on their mind and they mean it. They mean it. They are drawn to you like a bead of honey. All right, ooh, look at that. It looks like you recently came out of a situation that you, I think that was still had a hold of you, still had a hold of um, a lot of your emotional body. I think you, you wanted a change, maybe in a long-term commitment, the Wheel of Fortune. I think you wanted things to change. Maybe you needed to spice things up a little bit. But on the road to happiness, I think there's been a few setbacks, but all in all, it feels like a really positive time in your life, building a long-term relationship, it looks like. And it's brought in a lot of abundance, a lot of abundance, a feeling of, I got everything I need, Jenna, you know? I got love by my side, you know? But there's been a few disappointments along the way, but that's normal, right? That's normal. Uh-oh, that wanted to come out. Ooh, the devil and the fool and the two of swords over justice. Okay, let's talk about this, Leo. But let's first get a messages of love oracle card and we'll see what else 
the universe has to say. All right, you are safe and divinely protected. So something is going on right now in this love bond. I think you've had a lot of ups and downs. All right. Oof. You definitely have a very deep, true love bond with someone. And uh, it's a very important relationship to you, I'm getting. Very important relationship. As far as how you come towards them, I can't help but think that you, it feels like you've been the one whenever there's been an argument or conflict, you're the one that always has to kind of come first and make peace. It's like you have to kind of be the one that's softer in this. Or there's something that I'm sensing about this, that there is an imbalance on wanting to see almost like, I can't help but think that you have like this blind faith with this person in your life that needs to really be balanced a little bit more like maybe the sun rises and sets on them you're very drawn to them you're very attracted to them they're your entire world but make sure you take time for yourself you know i think that you're putting a lot of energy into overseeing their energy every day like you have the devil here um that you're looking at them in a way that may be a little bit codependent and vice versa. And there might be some mirroring going on here, um, especially in the cards that I'm seeing between you. Despite there being a sense of fairness at times and you feeling very empowered in this love, um, on their side, it's almost like they came from perhaps a toxic cycle before you and they're still trying to balance out their energy. And no matter how long you've been with them, Sometimes it takes time to close out a cycle. Maybe they were going through a long-term commitment that ended and it, it, you know, it's taken a long time to, for them to stabilize. So there's something about the relationship though that is unhealthy and, and how you're both showing up. And it doesn't mean it has to be huge. It's just, there's something that you haven't really wanted to see Maybe it's the fact that things do get out of whack and uh, imbalanced at times. But your guys want you to know that you're protected no matter what. Okay, you're protected no matter what. Let's see this emperor. The sense of empowerment that you've gained with them by your side. The Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, a lot of twos, the King of Cups. Yeah, you have a lot of love. And I think you, you definitely have... Like you have a lot of plans in the future, a lot of plans, <laughs> and it makes you excited. You feel really, really excited when you think about the future with this person, but sometimes you get in two minds because whenever you have a hiccup, you're like, oh God, is this the end? And this is the thing. I was actually meditating on this before your reading, and it kind of came to me where, you know, a lot of times when we experience things, you're also... And you're in two minds about it. You're in the experience, but then you're also in the worry of, well, when is this going to end? And I feel like you've kind of carried that with you with this person for some reason. I think the way the relationship began, there was something in the way you were giving to them, like almost wanting to rescue them in the new beginning and take them out of their wounded state of their own, you know, imbalance. And they're, I think the whole time you've been together is you're trying to help them close out a cycle, help them come to a healthier place within themselves, help them become more balanced, okay? So you see that? Help, 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 help. So make sure you're not giving too much of your energy to them and neglecting yourself. What's this beautiful love that you share? What's this beautiful love that they give you? You love them. That is so apparent. Yeah, and you guys communicate that love. And a lot of times I think you're the one who brings in that romance, you know, that let's go out, you know, I want to take you out or, you know, or you're being taken out. But there's this beautiful feeling of fertility 
uh, po potential possibility in, in your relationship. Like the future looks bright. The future looks so bright, Leo. You, you have such a romantic feeling for them. And I think you tell them that all the time. Like, I love you, you know, you're my king or queen. And you guys have like these really like, I'm hearing pet names, like really funny pet names for each other. Yeah. What a beautiful love you share. It's not without its struggles, but it's a beautiful love. Let's see. What is this world? Whoa. The sun. Yes, you make them very happy. I think they, it took them some time. You know, we have the sun, the ace of pentacles and judgment. It took them some time, I think, to really invest fully. I think they were a little bit cautious of getting involved. Um, I think you really helped them through the ending of something. And it made them very happy. I think the stability that you provided to them, the consistency and the loyalty, you know, it's it's beautiful when you can really be there for someone and hold their hand through a one one one. Yeah, in that new beginning, you you were kind of like, and this doesn't have to be male or female, but that knight in shining armor, kind of feeling, you know, or that um, beautiful queen that is so solid and consistent in their love that it made them feel safe, and it made them really love and respect you for that. So that's beautiful. What's this devil? It almost feels like something, something they're working on that has nothing to do with you. But again, it could be some mirroring going on, a little bit of codependence. Like you both, whoa, you both, um, all right. Eight of cups, the 10 of wands and the seven of pentacles. So this unhealthiness that they're carrying I think that sometimes they feel like what they invest in, I think they have fear of, of, of really being vulnerable and really letting someone in and having it end. And I like what I was saying with the, you know, it's hard to really experience something fully if you're worried about whether it's gonna return or um, if you have this fear that something is fleeting and that it won't stay, you know. It's almost like you have to reassure them a lot that I'm not going anywhere, you know, even if they push you away. It's almost like they test you a lot. Yeah, it's, it's hard for them to open up. It's hard for them to really invest without fear. That's, that's a, a deep, deep, like, um, wound that they have, this fear of rejection, fear of abandonment. And I think it helped, it, makes them show up in a, in a way that really pushes your buttons and pushes you away at times. Let's see, temperance. What's this balance that you're trying to achieve? Just all strength trying to pop out. I think you really have to access your own stability in yourself to stabilize this relationship. Temperance, the star, the magician, the knight of swords. I love it. So I think that they're really working on this fear of abandonment and really trusting in their destiny and in the bond that you share. And I think they've really manifested this willingness to, okay, I'm not gonna run away from you because you're my true love and I love you. And yeah, I'm scared shitless, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it out. That's beautiful. I think that they're they're definitely aware that they have a tendency to shut down and close off when they get afraid. And there's something about the way you show up for them. It's so consistent and so romantic. Um, hopefully it's not too romanticized, but they, they put you in the feels. Like you look at them and you can hardly believe that you're with them. Like you, you, you truly have this deep bond for each other. So I think that things are, are, are stabilizing on their end. And they're, they're definitely, that cycle has closed. It's just a matter of, of, of working through that fear of abandonment. What's this eight of pentacles? The four of pentacles, the king of swords, and the five of wands. So I think currently right now, 
currently, I think you guys recently have had something that came up. And maybe it has to do with this fear of abandonment and rejection because sometimes they come at you with like almost wanting to start a fight. Like I think maybe they're used to chaos. Um, this this unhealthy, um, almost this, they push the boundary of fight or flight. You know, I think you're with a very intense energy and at times they withdraw and retreat and they get cold and they detach. And I think you have to work really hard to kind of pull them out of their shell. Maybe you use humor and that Leo effervescence to pull them out. But I think, especially coming up, there's no doubt in my mind that the two of you, you know, aren't truly bonded in a deep love connection and that you both want it. You know, there's no doubt here that you both want it. It's just a matter of when you do have conflicts and you do have like things that come up, try not to both of you, you know, detach so much that you become cold to one another and you don't listen and under come from a place of understanding. Yeah, I think you both are working hard on softening to one another. You know, when things get like that friction, not allowing the friction to actually, and that irritation that you feel when you're being poked to like take center stage and make it worse. So recognize when you're being poked, you know, hopefully they can too. And then you're not really fighting the poking, you know, you're actually getting to the heart of whatever the problem is, you know? All right, what's the chariot? And I think you're moving through um, maybe a recent spat that left you both kind of feeling a little bit emotionally disconnected from one another. Because at the end of this, we have the sun. We have the sun. Happier days are coming. You know, this just feels like, you know, the normal, the normal wave, right? You guys are working on things. Very solid. Very solid, Leo. Five of swords. Yep. Yeah. Despite there being confusion at times, I think this relationship is really balancing out. You know, keep that with you this week. Practice balance in, in your energy, you know, because that's all you can control. But this Five of Swords, I think it gets confusing at times how to handle these issues that come up, you know, but you both are trying to put the work in and support one another and be cooperative because you have so much love. And, you know, as long as you keep putting the love first, you can get through anything. And that's apparent. You're going to be able to move through anything, confused or not, because you put the love first. Leo, well, that's how it's done in a relationship. You're showing me healthy conflict resolution here. I love it. The sun. Nine of cups. Oh, my God. All right. That's beautiful. We have the nine of cups, the two of pentacles, and the hierophant. So I think that you are headed towards um, either getting engaged or um, a potential marriage, or maybe you're already married and, you know, you're like, I have my wish. They're with me. Sometimes you both get a little, you overthink things a little bit, and that's okay, you know. Don't overthink your happiness. Don't overthink about, you know, could this potentially end, okay? It doesn't have to be doomsday when you have a conflict. Um, this It's very normal what you move through in a relationship, you know. Just make sure that they are showing up in a healthy way. I think you guys have successfully worked through some abandonment issues that occurred early on in the relationship. And now it's a matter of deepening that bond, letting your knowing that this is your true love, this is your life partner, and trusting them by your side and not being doubtful about your ability to conquer anything that you encounter, all right? What's this awakening consciousness? This is just a little bit of info you can take when, with you. That doesn't want to stay, so we're just going to leave it down. All right. Just a little follow-up message. Something you can carry with you this week. Something to meditate on, okay? Beautiful. What a beautiful bond. It's almost too that I'm getting like, it's a spiritual connection. It's for sure. It's a spiritual, spiritual connection. Um, like I said, the sun rises and sets. Like you guys have like this gorgeous, beautiful happiness together. You make each other happy. That's all I can say. It's just beautiful. All right. Your heart is an instrument made of extremely subtle energy that few people come to appreciate. But in truth, you are not your heart. You are the experiencer of your heart. Yeah. This love that you share. It's like you, you get to experience 
what it's like to truly love someone and to deepen that bond and to trust in that bond, come what may. Just make sure you practice finding balance in your day to day, in your own self care. And whatever fears come up, know that you have someone by your side. As long as you both stay open hearted and you focus on the love, you can get through these conflicts. All right. That's what I have for you, Leo. Beautiful reading. I love it. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.